Hey guys, I'm here with Mike Hallmark from Helwig Suspension Products, and we're gonna be working on a little bit of a project. Yes, we are. Uh, what you see behind us is our double duty. It's a 2021 Ford F-150 that is set up as my mobile install unit. We are at the 2022 Truck Camper Adventure Rally in Quartzsite, and we have a very special opportunity. Uh, we actually have a customer that purchased one of our sway bars and lives full time out of their RV. So I have the truck, we're both here together, we're gonna install the sway bar on his truck in the dirt right here, because it's that easy to do. Uh, so we're actually gonna film the install, and then we're gonna get a first reaction so you guys can see the honest feedback of the difference between having and not having a Helwig sway bar. But this isn't gonna be really an install video. It's gonna show some of the install, but maybe not step by step. This is just to show you the difference between a Helwig and non Helwig equipped vehicle. All right, well, you wanna get started? Let's go. We're just taking a little nap, my jumper underneath this Tiger 3500 chassis. We are installing our big wig rear sway bar on this 3500 GM truck. This gentleman has our big wig airbags, which is a uh, pretty cool. We're going to reduce his sway by installing the sway bar. So I've already disconnected the brake line bracket from the axle and installed our Z bracket. That's gonna help space it off. So I can then put in our bracket plate here, which will then hold the sway bar. We'll put the rest of the end links on. We'll get it buttoned up. Set it on the loosest setting because he told me he does drive this off road and does need articulation. So we're gonna put it on the loosest setting to give him some freedom there. And then once we're done, do a first drive reaction and let him show you and tell you exactly what the feel is or what the difference is once you install the bar. On this specific model, you're gonna notice on this cradle, yep. there's two different diameters here because it's a stepped axle. Ah. So the larger diameter goes on the inside towards the pumpkin. One of the keys that you can see in our kit is we offer and provide our silicone grease. That grease needs to go on these D bushings and be nice and liberal with your grease. This is what's going to allow years of quiet, squeak-free operation. Now, a fun little thing that you'll notice here with our sway bars is we have this hammer tone finish. There's lots of little nooks and crannies in there. It's actually was done intentionally because what that does is that helps to trap some of this grease in and then provides years of squeakless use. The texture's not just there to look cool, it actually does have a function. Grab me that bushing and I'll do the same over here. Cool. Yeah. Now, pro tip. With this silicone grease, it is super sticky and it gets everywhere. So have a rag near you. Also, be mindful if you get it on your fingers, it does like to stay on. So keep a rag handy, keep it clean. All right, we'll go ahead and then put the debushing on the sway bar. Does not matter which way the opening goes. So you move it around to make sure it's nice and looped. From there, we'll take the D bracket bushing, put it underneath the D bracket. I've done the install on this vehicle before, but with this specific one, they're all different. We have a bunch of different nuts and bolts. So always refer to the instructions. We have all of the torque listed for the different diameter bolts. Also, we have different nuts. Some are locking nuts, some are not. Each one has its own place where it needs to go. So I'm gonna refer to the instructions and make sure I'm putting the proper nuts in the proper place. I'm making sure these are the right okay. thread, yep. so you will get four. So these get okay. these get double nutted. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get the you bolt through here. That should help us out. Do so you ah, want to do the same? Ah, okay. Good call. Okay. Yeah. And we want to get it nice and snug to that. It's snug. Perfect. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, when you're ready, we can go ahead and lift the bar. Okay. I'm in. Uh, washers first. Washers first. Flat washer first, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Flat washer. Gotcha. Gotcha. All of our products are designed to be installed with simple hand tools. I'm a cheater. We have a great partner, Milwaukee. They supplied us with some cordless tools, so we're gonna use that to speed up the process. Also on the hand tool side, we have a good partner with Boxo Tools, so we're covered for all mobile installs. Just snug? Just snug. I'm gonna come back and torque everything. Okay. Yep. The torque on these is very important. The 
first thing you want to do is mount the sway bar to the axle to get that out of the way. Now, when we go to hook up the end links, all we do is we pivot it. We're using that as our pivot point. So it makes things much easier. So this vehicle is an RV. It's not just a truck. It actually has, a, it's a tighter yeah. conversion. Yeah. And I'm looking at a battery box here with some aftermarket stuff welded on. So I now need to make sure that I'm gonna have enough clearance to mount our in-link mounts here. So let me play with that for a second. And then that will have to loosen up. That's a brake controller. So we were founded in 1946. Started building product in 1944, but there was this little thing called World War II going on. Took up a lot of the steel and manpower. Uh, so 1946 is actually when we got our start and actually would go door to door through Southern California, uh, noticing sedans that were prevalent at the time that had the saggy bottom blues, the back ends were sagging. So they would knock on the door and offer to install Hellwig helper springs for $7 right then and there. That was 76 years ago. We are still in business. We are still family owned. I am still doing mobile installs. Uh, I was not the one doing it in 46 because I wasn't alive then. Specifically for the truck camper market, we developed our big wig spring, which is an inch and 5 16 diameter, 4140 forge chromoly steel sway bar. The reason we developed that large of a diameter because we were getting a lot of calls from gentlemen and women with sliding campers saying that they still had too much body roll, even with our inch and a half diameter. So we did some math, we did the calcs, we did some testing, and then the big wig was born, which is the inch and 5 16 diameter. We wanted to give the consumer tunability of their sway bar. So on any application where we can, we make them adjustable up to three holes. And you're looking at about a 12% difference between hole uh, and that changes the spring rate. So the closer you get to the transverse section or the center section of the sway bar, the tighter it is, the further away it is, the looser it is. To put it simply, a sway bar is two levers in opposition. So, and they're tied together in the middle by a torsion spring. So the longer the lever, the more mechanical advantage the vehicle has over the sway bar. The shorter the lever, the less mechanical advantage. So less body weight. All right, well, welcome back. We have the rear sway bar installed. We've got the U-bolts and brackets on the axle. We have the in-link brackets mounted to the frame. In-links have been adjusted. We are parallel with the ground and or chassis. You'll notice we are 90 degree relation with the sway bar to the in-link. Now all I have to do is go through and torque everything down. I've already torqued our in-link bolts. I've already torqued our brackets up top. Now I'm gonna torque these. Per the instructions, they get torqued to 60 foot-pounds. Luckily, with the support and help from our partner at Milwaukee Tools, I've got this handy-dandy electric self-ratcheting torque wrench, so it helps me make quick work of the install. So that gets it close, and then I just do the final torquing like a normal torque wrench. And that's it. We'll double-check the torque on this one. We're good. These have already been done. So what we'll do is we'll double nut it so it doesn't back out. That's that. Sway bar's installed. Let's go for a drive and change somebody's world. Hey YouTube, let's go for a ride. I'm retired now since 2010, living on the road for 10 years now. I do have a cabin in Northwest Colorado where I spent the summer in that, but otherwise this is my house, house in the cabin. So you live out of this full time. Yes. Uh, so how important is it to you to have the best control of the vehicle and upgrades to make sure that you're getting the best ride quality with your, your everything vehicle? The utmost importance to have something that handles well. And uh, I went with a Hellwig uh, sway bar recommendation and what I read about them. Well, I was here for the 2022 Truck Camper Rally and uh, I just so happened to run into Mike uh, Hallmark. And I did ask if he could put it on, he offered to do it. And coincidentally, I had my Hellwig sway bar along, so that all worked out quite well. I've got all the tools to do the install. You had the sway bar. We said, let's play in the dirt and put a sway yes. bar in. We're taking it for the first test drive, see how it 
feels compared to with no sway bar. We're just driving around the desert here in Quartzsite. Nice graded roads, so these are nice smooth. We're gonna get out on the highway and Mick here is gonna give all of you guys his true feedback of the difference of a Hellwig sway bar. We always hear it's a night and day difference between no sway bar and a Hellwig sway bar. Mick's gonna give us the honest truth. So stay tuned, follow along. Yeah, it, it feels like a, a different vehicle or a different truck, the way it's handling. You know, I've been driving this for 12 years. The steering is different. Does it feel tighter, more responsive? More responsive, yes. And you told me that you do some off-roading and you would like to keep some articulation. It's about 50-50 I'm off-road and uh, uh, paved roads and stuff like that. So we set it on the loosest setting intentionally so you had a good balance between okay. on-road and off-road. Yeah, it feels really nice. Your hula girl doesn't seem to dance as much. It took 12 years to put a Hellwig sway bar on. At the time, didn't even think of a sway bar when I first bought it. Why it took so long to put it on, I, I guess I'm not quite sure. <laughs> if you could go back and tell your younger, 12 year younger self, give them advice, what would it be? Oh, I'd put one on right away. In terms of going off-road, this really seems like the ideal setup. It's a motorhome that's got the capabilities of a truck, and yeah. it's perfect. Well, this is what I dreamt about. I, I think I daydreamed about doing something like this uh, five years, ten years before I retired, and uh, I'm doing it, you know? And I wanted to have a piece of remote property, which I do have. Yeah, I don't come down the court site too often. Too many people, too many campers. Usually when I am somewhere, there's nobody else around. No. Going through that little bump right there, that sway back, how that feel? It feels much better. But yeah, I really enjoyed myself here. I, was, I almost didn't come. I'm glad I did. So now I got a sway bar on. Right? <laughs> Right. It, it's it's yeah. it's an honest, genuine answer. Yes, there's definitely a, a, a very notable uh, difference, a better difference. It just drives different. I've driven it uh, this vehicle for uh, a decade, and it feels like I'm in a kind of like I'm in a different motorhome or truck. It tracks on the road better, yeah. uh, going over ridges or hills, bumps, dips, and stuff. It, it it's it's definitely more stable than it was. So cool. I'm very happy with it. I have Helwig airbags also. Now I have a Helwig sway bar that Mike put on for me. Thank you, Mike and Helwig. Right there, right over uh, there in the dirt. So, right there. It's that easy to put on. Yeah. We've met a few times over the years. Yes. Overland Expo yes. West. Yes. You're a traveler. I'm a traveler. I'm quite certain we're going to meet again in the right. future. Right. Yeah. I really, really appreciate it, Mick. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate it. And we'll see you down the road. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. All right, guys, we're back. And what a huge difference. Mick seemed really impressed with it. So was I. In fact, it's one of the last upgrades that I really want to do. So I think I'm going to be talking to you soon about that. Please do. We supply all the hardware, all the bracketry, everything. You just got to supply the tools and how you're going to install it. But Mick seemed genuinely happy. If you guys are looking for any information on our product, please go to hellwigproducts.com. Follow us on YouTube, Hellwig Products, or Instagram, Hellwig underscore products. And of course, subscribe to Scott's channel to make sure you can see the install of his Hellwig sway bar and the adventuring they're doing. I'm gonna leave all of the links mentioned in this video in the description below so you can check them out down there. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See you guys out there. Bye.